Okay, so Ayo doesn't know what he's doing. I feel like the way he disrespected Mimi in that last couple of seconds was not nice to see in that challenge. Um, I don't even think Uma likes Ayo like that, but I also feel like Ayo doesn't even know what he wants to do. This is not going to end well. It's going to turn into a big car crash. Hey guys, this is Murad Murali. Hopefully you guys are all doing well today. Back it again with another video. If you have not subscribed, click that button, guys. It is daily and consistent content. Comment down below and let's get straight into this mess of a episode. Jess needs to earn some respect. She got so happy when Ronnie kissed her because he kissed her first. Doesn't mean anything, babes. Because if, she, if he really liked you, he wouldn't be entertaining Harriet. If he really liked you, there wouldn't be no love triangle. If he really liked you, he wouldn't have disrespected you in that speech. If he really liked you, there just wouldn't be you facing any of this. And of course, you're so obsessed with what he's doing. Everyone's open and they can do what they want. But the fact that he made that speech, disrespected her, and then didn't even come to apologize in any kind of way that I saw, um, correct me if I'm wrong, maybe I missed some scenes. I do feel like it was unnecessary. Yet she gets so happy when he kisses her in a challenge. Like, I just don't understand that. I just don't understand that. I feel like, you know, this season is crazy. We are on the sixth day and there's just so much to talk about. Like, I don't even know where to begin, where to end. I'm grateful Harriet went to the hairdressers. So she got a blow up. She went somewhere, child, because somebody fixed her hair. It would have been great if Sam was still in the villa because he still would then would be fixing all the girl's hair. But I'm glad that she fixed her hair at the end. Like, we got there because her hair was suffering. Um, but Harriet is one of my favorite contestants. I feel like she is just a troublesome little devil. That's basically what she is. Running around, delusional, no idea what she wants to do. And even the girls don't like her. Samantha and Jess were like, you know, she's open basically to anybody. She's basically there with open arms and open legs is what these girls were saying. So there's friction and divide between the girls. The guys, not, there's not much friction or divide, to be honest with you. But with the girls, there is. And I feel like Harriet is entertaining Ronnie because what other options does she have right now? The bombshells coming in aren't going for her. Samantha and Joey Essex are not going to work well and I know that Joey's been planted for Casa Amor because he will come back with somebody he will be the main Casa Amor villain and Samantha will go absolutely AWOL she will go crazy, Scouser crazy Northerner crazy, that's going to be great TV to watch and I feel like producers are setting that up to happen if things go on track and I feel like it will, and that will make good TV. Joey Essex is good TV, but I still don't want to see him. The man is 33, hanging around with somebody like Kieran, who's 21, and I just feel like it just seems a bit odd to me. 30 plus year olds can go on Love Island, absolutely, but I just feel like most don't, and most are suited to Love is Blind. That's what you could have gone on, Love is Blind, the UK version. He probably will next year at this point, but I just feel like, I don't know, it just seems a bit odd. Even the age gap between Samantha and Joey, I don't know if it will work on the outside, realistically, to be honest with you. Mimi is still in this competition and I'm glad. I'm grateful for yesterday, whether she's um, Mimi's getting along with the new guy or not, whether things are happening or not, I don't really care. The main thing is that Mimi is still in this competition and that's what I like. One thing about Mimi that I like so much is her, how she carries herself, her presence. She's not, you know, a loud girl, a messy girl, um, drama girl and if she was all of those three things it would still be great TV point blank period but it's nice to see somebody in that villa who is the opposite to the strong energies and chaotic energies of like Nicole and Harriet for example it's nice to get that balance and I feel like she seems very chill and calm I just want to see her win in the show because I feel like she's a nice girl and I do think that hopefully Somebody comes in for her. I don't think Ayo is the man for her. For Ayo to say, oh, I would have picked her. That speech was gunning to go towards you. Then suddenly you pick Uma as the main uh, girl and you find attractive and etc. You're playing both of them, but you're also playing yourself. That's what guys don't realize. When you're playing multiple girls, you're also playing yourself because you're not just wasting their time. You're wasting your time as well. And one thing about this show, if you're not a solid couple within the first week or half, not solid as in like... Um, you've got to be closed 24-7, but solid in that the viewers love you guys together. It is hard for you to build that foundation as time goes on, especially in the later seasons, which is not that popular anymore. These girls from Love Island, for example, you have to win or be second at best to get near a million. I don't think you understand how big the show used to be. Love Island 2018, the first eliminated contestant was nearing a million. She was just there for a week and nearly got 900,000 followers. For example, these girls got to be in the final and be in the final couple or second at best to get even near 10 million now. They have to work much more harder. That's what I'm saying. You got to build that relationship. So I don't know. I just feel like it's not going to work for Ayo and Mimi. I feel like Mimi's going to be played by this man continuously, if not now, Kassa. I don't think Uma's done anything wrong either. I feel like a lot of people are throwing shade to Uma, saying that she's a weird girl. She's not a girl's girl. 
They're all in there for one thing and one thing only, to be with somebody they want and to win the show. It's not Friend Island. So Uma doesn't owe anything to Mimi. There's no loyalty there. She hasn't done anything wrong if she's going for people that also Mimi likes. They're just in competition. That's what the show is about. I don't think Uma should be getting hate um, because people are disliking the fact that Mimi is not getting the certain men because Uma is like an enemy in progress is how they see it. But Uma also is entitled to find whoever she wants. And she is entitled to go there with I. That's what she wants to do. That doesn't mean that she's like, it's just, I don't know why she's getting, it's just weird conversation that people are making. It doesn't make any sense. Like, I, like, I, I don't understand. Every man is for themselves when it comes to that competition chart. Like every single man, that's how it is. These friendship groups are cute, but most don't last, number one. Number two, it doesn't bring you any money anyways. And number three, I just feel like your relationships are what prolong your time in the villa, not your friendships. Not your friendships. But I just feel like, I don't like what Mimi was respect, um, disrespected at the end. Hopefully, tomorrow is a good episode. We didn't get any tomorrow night, and I don't know why. I find that annoying that we don't. But great episode, great season, good um, challenges. Nicole and Kieran is a car crash waiting to happen. I'm so sorry. That man is not loyal to her. He is 21 years old. It's just not going to work out. On the outside, he's going to get all this attention from so many girls going back to Wales. That the only thing that they've got going for themselves is that they're both from Wales. That is it, bro. Like Once they go back, one of them might even move to London. It's just, it's, it's a wrap. I'm so sorry. It doesn't work for me. I just don't, I don't believe in this couple. There's just no, there's, there's, that's one thing about this. There's no real strong couple. Joey and Samantha are settling, but I just don't think it's going to work because it's Joey we're speaking about. I can't speak about anything else because Ronnie and Jess obviously has gone through the mud. Harriet doesn't even know what she wants at this point. And Munvir, I was looking forward to him, but I just feel like Munvir is not doing anything. Either A, he doesn't like any of these girls. B, him and Patsy went down the drain. Clearly, you know, he wasn't making the strong advances. If he really laid it on thick to Patsy they would have been great together but I just don't think he likes Patsy if he doesn't like any of the girls it is what it is like he just doesn't like any of the girls that's the vibe that I'm getting from him because he's not doing anything on the show I really wanted to come and support Munvir absolutely but like he's got good qualities for him to be supported anyways but if you're not doing anything in this contest in, in the show then you know like, I don't know. It's the first week. It is what it is. We'll see what new bombshells come in. Something could happen for him. But I just feel like he's not getting any storylines because and no airtime because he's not actually doing anything with anybody as well. And I feel like it would have been nice for him to do something. But the, the guy is just there, not doing nothing. Like, I thought Sean was team furniture, but so was Monavira at this point. And I didn't expect that because I thought that he was going to give... He was given somewhat main character energy to me when I saw him in the trailer. But, um, yeah. That just did not go according to plan. Make up this what you will and do let me know what your thoughts are when it comes to this, you know, episode. What team are you on? Give me your thoughts on the Mimi Uma Ayo triangle. That's what I mainly want you guys to speak about because everybody's opinions online, I've seen extremely divided. So I want to know who you see, who you prefer. As long as Mimi is still in this competition, guys, we are absolutely fine. I was so ready to stand Munvir like this because I'm beginning to like Mimi more than Munvir and I really wanted to keep Munvir in this competition, but how can I keep somebody or want somebody there when they're not doing anything. So my two favorites so far are Harriet. I don't know why. I just love that girl. I feel like she's delusional as hell and is just entertaining and giving us the drama and Mimi. These, those are my two girls that I am supporting and liking right now. Let me know what yours are. As long as we just keep her in this competition, guys, Mimi, then we are good with whatever man she's in at this point. Because at this point, I don't know. Everyone's just, I don't know. Men are just weird. Subscribe and I'll catch you guys soon for another video.